everybody, I'm excited to see you all. You are probably wondering why the background is different. The only reason is that I moved, I'm back home, and I'm going to be vlogging in right here from now on. I'm going to go over what the characters are like, and then I am going to explain why I chose the actors that I picked. The group is formed by five kids. It's Hector, Will, Alan, Andrea, and Jacobo. And they all form this group that is going to go into the collection to discover this new world. These kids are friends, but they're a bit different among themselves. Hector is played by actor Victor Adonth. He's the leader of the group and he's this charismatic character whose curiosity triggers the story. One of his best attributes is that he surrounds himself with good friends. So, of course, Hector drags his best friend into this adventure. His best friend's name is Alan, played by actor Javier Fidoncha. And he's really not like Hector. He's much more cautious and he does not want to get into trouble. But eventually he will be convinced by his sister, whose name is Will, who's also in the group. She's played by wonderful actress Carla Cambra. She is a really charismatic character as well. She does a really great job in grabbing everybody's attention. And uh, she is the tipping point to convince Alan to do anything. Because what Alan cares most about is her sister. But then we also had to find two other actors for the roles of Andrea and Jacobo. Andrea is played by Paula Garrizo. She is one of my friends. I knew she was an actress and as I was writing the character of Andrea, she inspired me to c construct the character. So when she suggested that she wanted to participate for me to give her an audition, then I didn't even need to do that because I already knew that I wanted her. Then for the last of the boys, we had the character of Jacobo ultimately played by Carlos Lorenzo, but he was super hard to find. In fact, I was auditioning boys from ages 15 to 19, but um, either they seemed too old or they didn't fit for the part, or maybe they weren't, they didn't have quite the acting level that I wanted for the movie. But then I received Carlos' tape, Carlos is 13, so I wasn't sure if it could work for the story, but the more that I thought about it, the more that I wanted him because he sent me a fabulous monologue. Carlos works perfectly and I really do not regret this choice. He, he was great. Essentially, he found the actors three ways. One was through contacts of other actors who I already knew. The other one was through agencies and the last one was through open auditions through on the internet. Another thing that I've learned from this is that I'm much more comfortable working with actors with whom I've had re previous recommendations from other people of, or I've previously met. So if you're an actor and you want to act, I suggest that um, aside from auditioning to lots of places, which you should really do, you should also go to networking events to meet directors. If you're an actor, I would like you to comment on, on how you land on different roles or if you're a director, how do you cast your actors and other suggestions that you might have that can contribute to my experience. I'd really appreciate it and I'm really happy that you're watching this. So see you in the next video.